Everything here ended in the blink of an eye. The camp lost one tent, and the lives of two girls were lost with it. You can no longer hear their beautiful laughter, or see their hair fluttering in the wind as they play outside. Death came as an unwelcome guest, and left behind the memory of fire to increase the sorrow of those living in displacement camps in northern Syria. Here, a mother lost two daughters, Lean and Intisar, before her eyes. She lost their embraces and the love that allowed her to forget the struggles of the displacement. Intisar is only five years old, and her sister Lean is only two years younger than her. They were trying to get warm inside the tent as snow fell around them, but death reached their bodies quicker than the warmth. The primitive heating source the family had gathered around transformed into their downfall. Suddenly, the heater exploded and the flames erupted inside the tent. No one understood what had happened. They didn't learn of the tragedy until the fire died down, and camp residents discovered the bodies of two girls who had died. The fire inside the tent eventually subsided, but a fire will continue to rage in the heart of the mother who lost her daughters. What trace do Intisar and Lean leave behind? In reality, it's not much. There are some burnt clothes and a bit of a blanket torn apart by the fire. This is Nuruddin, Deen, one of the family's relatives. When we met him, he was still collecting what remained of their belongings off of the ground. He was consumed by the pain of their loss. Like the other residents of Camp Ibraz in the city of Afrin, Nuruddin wasn't able to reach the family in time to save them from the fire. اسمها الطاقة جينا رقدنا أنا وزميلة جينا رقدنا أقل من عشر ثواني كانت الخيمة والبنات والناس The death of Intisar and Lean cast a pall over the camp residents. This woman still fears for her children. Now, the cold seems less painful to her than the risk of one of her children burning to death from a heater. ما عم نسيم دخيلي. صار لنا سنتين قاعدين على الخير وعمي دع صار لنا يفسك كل نهار على البرتج اللي قطنا شوى لنا دفيع منك وخلي على الله ما شفت الله الزلاك من حرق الماجر الصبح وعم نستجل شاق الصبح وشاق الويرين No one truly understands the bitterness of the life Lean and Antisar live unless they have lived it themselves There are a large number of people who live like this Anywhere you look in another in Syria you'll find sprawling camps the United Nations estimates there are around 1,300 of them. The 1.6 million people who live in these camps fear dying in the same way Intisar and Lean died.